RealAgriculture.com's coverage of Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover, Germany is brought to you by Optimum Glide, a new canola trait technology from Corteva AgriScience. Werner Tobin here reporting from Agritechnica for Optimum Gly and Corteva AgriScience. I'm here with Marco Otten, um, CNH, sir. How's it going? Good, good. Very good. That's great. And we are here, we're going to take a look at the Steyr Hybrid CBT prototype. Um, we're not ready for the field yet, but you guys have been doing a lot of work on the CBT. Tell us about it. Yeah, so as you as you already mentioned, we have a prototype here uh, behind us. It's the first time that actually in the history of Steyr that we're showing a prototype. And to mention a little bit, a few things about the hybrid. So what makes this unit hybrid? So we have a combination here of a regular 180 horsepower CBT drive, uh, where we boosted the engine up to 260 horsepower and integrated a generator. For, electric, uh, for electrification, and we have a, a fully new designed front axle, independent suspended, that has an electric motor integrated. Hey, tell us more about that transmission. So the transmission, so the rear of the transmission, uh, let's say the rear of the tractor, has more or less stayed the same. It's the standard trans CVT transmission that we have already on the market since several years already. So there, there's no more or less not, not a lot of changes. The, the real new thing is on the front is where we have the like I said the front axle integrated and the the advantage of that is is that you have with electrification you have instant power instant torque available at low rpm and now the two units front and rear axle are really working together and we can put 260 horsepower into the ground tell me more about ECVT ECVT what that is is um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of times that you're driving the tractor, you're, uh, I'm going to say, wasting fuel because you're driving around on the yard or something. ECVT function, what we are doing there is we have the drive line, the, the electric motor on the front, which is driving the front axle but via the all-wheel clutch, like that's the, the standard all-wheel clutch and the standard drive shaft. We can actually bypass the regular CVT and drive the rear axle. So in that case, the motor is really running on idle, and I'm say, for instance, I'm driving around on the yard, hooking on an implement, low power usage. That's where the, C, the E, so the tractor is basically 100% diesel electric driven. Tell me about E-Boost. E-Boost, so what does E-Boost mean? E-Boost means we have on this tractor super caps mounted, so condensators, you can compare them to them like a hydraulic accumulator. So not regular batteries, but they have the advantage they can store a lot of energy very fast and expel it very fast. And what gives us the e-boost, what gives us that, that gives us 50 kilowatt at an instant for about 15 seconds. And I always like to take an example there. I'm driving in the field. I drop the cultivator. The motor has to catch up. And here I have 50 kilowatts available bridging that gap. So the electric motor is supporting the, motor, the diesel engine and your quicker drive, your quicker up to speed again. Okay. Yeah. Hey, talk about the, the e-torque function. So the e-torque functions, e-torque, so electrification opens up a world of possibilities on this. So e-torque, there we have two functions that work together. So we have e-torque factoring and e-torque filling. Let's start with e-torque factoring. E-torque factoring means Everybody knows standard tractor, front axle always runs faster, two, three, four percent, depending on tire size. Problem with that is that it's slip. Slip means power loss. Here we now with e-torque, with e-torque vectoring, we have the rear axle and the front axle, they, are, can, they can run in sync. The unit arranges that on its own. And with that, we can put the full torque in the ground, which means I'm saving fuel, not really saving fuel, I'm using the fuel more efficient. I have more traction because I don't have slip, and, I'm, and I can also drive faster because I have more torque into the ground. Hey, final thing, this is a prototype. Yes. Um, what about availability? Where are you on the development sort of process? So when will we see something like this in the field? So, as, as you mentioned, yeah, we are in a development stage. This is uh, a unit that is actively in the, was actively in the field up until a few weeks ago. Uh, we've presented in 2019 already a full hybrid concept. This is the evolution of that. And uh, we are testing it now. We are proving the concept and everything. You know, 
we would like to give that information. There is an internal timeline down defined road. down the road, but uh, it is something for the future that for sure is coming and uh, that uh, will be available. Awesome. But timeline is not defined yet. Marco, I want to thank you for taking some time to talk to real agriculture and agri-tech. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Enjoy the show as well. Thank you.